So we've been talking about the average rate of change, and so let's take that concept and put an application to it. So the following table shows the daily receipts in millions of dollars of the movie The Hunger Games after its opening on the 23rd of March, 2012. We are asked to find the average rate of change of the daily receipts from day zero to day 42. So where do we begin? Well, we start by looking at what it means to be an average rate of change. Recall, the average rate of change is the slope of the secant line. That's how we talked about it in class. In other words, it's the slope of a line through two points. Average rate of change means y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, the slope of the line through two points, or it also means the change in the y value in relationship to the change in the x value, or the change in outputs in relationship to the change in inputs. Average rate of change has to deal with an average over time, so you will always have two points to calculate a slope when you're looking for an average rate of change. So let's find our two points. So the first point comes from day zero. In day zero, I have a point zero comma 152.535 million dollars. So that's my first point. My second point comes from day 42 past the 23rd of March, and so that point is 42 comma 5.587, and I'm reading this straight from my table. So 42 days after the 23rd of March, the daily receipts were 5.587 millions of dollars. To get the average rate of change from 0 to 42, we simply take the slope of the line through those two points. So we're simply going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Subtract the y values, and then subtract the x values. So we get 5.587, and we're going to take away 152.535. Those are my y values, and then I'm going to subtract my x values, 42 minus 0. That tells me, using a calculator, that our average rate of change for daily receipts was 3.4987619.05 millions of dollars per day. Whoa. That's our average rate of change. Now, in my open math, we want to make sure that we have enough decimals put into our answer for it to accept it correctly. So make sure you go at least six or seven decimals out, okay? Make sure you go at least six or seven decimals out. Or even better yet, in my open math, you can actually just type your average rate of change written as a quotient right here. You can actually take this fraction and type it directly into my open math and it should accept that as your average rate of change. Anyways, good luck as you do your problems and message or email me if you have any questions.